Onis, one of, if not the most popular creature amongst the yokai of Japanese mythology. These supernatural beings, complex and multifaceted, tread the thin line between malevolence and kindness. Though common discourse about the Oni would lead you to believe that they were all bad, that couldn't be further from the truth. They varied in appearance, origins, personality, and purpose. Their tales, as ancient as the land itself, serve as a mirror to the human soul, reflecting our deepest fears and highest aspirations, and illustrating the perpetual dance between the forces of light and darkness. The origins of the Oni were not linked to a singular event or deity. The Oni came into existence for countless reasons, sometimes by the will of the gods. These origins can be divided into four different categories, transformed humans, heavenly punishers, underworld, and other. Transformed humans. The journey to becoming an Oni through the transformation of humans often stemmed from an intense and overwhelming emotional turmoil. In these transformations, intense feelings of love, betrayal, or vengeance catalyze a change, mutating the human soul into something otherworldly. Consider the heart-wrenching story of a woman, wronged and abandoned by her lover. Consumed by a maelstrom of heartbreak and fury, her spirit curdled into vengeance, morphing her into a fearsome oni. She roamed the earth as a spectral presence on the wind, haunting the very paths her betrayer walked. Heavenly Punishers Above the realm of mortals, some Oni emerged to serve celestial purposes, executing the decrees of the gods. These Oni were the agents of retribution and divine justice, tasked with maintaining the balance and order. Among these tales is the story of Raijin, the formidable thunder god, who employs Oni to beat the drums of thunder. These celestial drummers send down fearsome peals of thunder during storms, not just as displays of divine might, but as punishment for the wicked, serving as a stark reminder to mortals of the omnipotent power of the gods and the price of wickedness. Underworld Descending into the shadowy depths of the underworld, we encounter Oni of a darker nature. These Oni emerge to serve the dark forces that govern the afterlife. They fulfill roles of judgment and punishment, acting as the executors of the afterlife's ruler. The punishments involved crushing bones, peeling off skin, and many other torments too horrible to describe. Enma Dayo, the fearsome ruler of the dead, commands legions of Oni who act as jailers and torturers in the hellish depths, meeting out punishment to the souls of the damned. Oni can also be seen in the story of Izanagi and Izanami. Izanagi ventures into the underworld to see Izanami, following her death. After a series of mixed emotions, Izanami sent Oni, and as well as dark forces after Izanagi, until the entrance to the underworld was ultimately sealed. The existence of these Oni serve as grim reminders of the consequences awaiting those who lead lives of malice and wrongdoing. Other some Oni trace their origins to the natural world or the result of mystical intervention, transcending human or divine origins. These entities embody the primal aspects of the world, from the untamed forces that shape the land. The folklore is rich with stories of animals, or even elements of nature cursed or blessed by mystical forces, undergoing transformations into Oni. These beings bridge the gap between the natural and the supernatural, embodying the fears and wonders of the natural world and its inexplicable connection to the spiritual realm. Through these origins, the Oni emerge not just as simple monsters or demons, but as complex entities embodying the fears, desires, and untamed aspects of nature, elements, and humanity alike. Examples of this could be the aftermath of a massacre or natural disaster. These stories, passed down through generations, continue to captivate and intrigue, offering a window into the soul of Japanese culture and its enduring fascination with the world beyond the veil. In the realm of Japanese mythology, Oni are as varied in appearance as the stories that birth them. These creatures embody the essence of the supernatural, manifesting in a spectrum of appearances that ranged from the intimidating towering behemoths to those who walk among men each revealing a different facet of their fearsome nature. It's important to note that only males were called Oni. Females were called Kijo or Onibaba, 
depending on their age, but we will stick with just Oni for the purposes of this video. The Towering Oni These towering Oni are typically what you would think of when you hear the term Oni. They are the most common-looking Oni and can be classified as demons, devils, ogres, or even trolls. Imagine beings of immense stature, their muscles bulging, skin adorned with the colors of the earth and sky, reds, blues, and sometimes even greens. In some cases, horns protruded from their foreheads, a hallmark of their demonic heritage, while their smiles revealed razor-sharp fangs that hint at their ferocity. Among these titans, Shuten Doji stands as a legend, a terror to the old capital of Kyoto with his band of demonic followers, until his reign of terror was ended by the bravery of Minamoto no Yorimitsu and his companions. The Humanoid Oni Contrasting with their gigantic counterparts, some walked in the appearances closely mirroring that of humans, blending seamlessly into society. They possessed unusual features, such as extra eyes that pierce through the veils of deception, skin of unnatural colors, or the presence of small horns that marked their true nature. These kinds of oni were typically unnamed and existed as archetypical narratives rather than detailed, individualized stories. Some examples of these types of oni would be a beautiful woman with small horns on her head or an elderly sage with an extra eye. However, it is possible that these oni were simply using their shape-shifting abilities to disguise themselves. The powers of the oni are as diverse as their appearances. Each ability was a reflection of their dominion over the natural and supernatural realms. Oni could possess one or even all of the following powers. Strength. The legendary strength of the Oni is a common thread in tales of their exploits. Capable of feats that defy explanation, they can uproot trees as easily as one might pick a flower and crush stones to dust in their fists. This raw, physical power instills fear and awe in all who witness it. Shapeshifting. As mentioned before, the Oni possessed the ability to use shapeshifting. It was among the most cunning of their abilities, allowing Oni to assume any form. Whether transforming into a fearsome beast to intimidate their foes or taking on a beguiling appearance to deceive, their mastery of this art is unparalleled. This power makes them formidable adversaries as they can infiltrate and manipulate human society with ease. Controlling the elements, Oni possess the ability to wield the forces of nature as weapons, conjuring storms, calling forth bolts of lightning, or summoning flames at will. They demonstrate their control over the elements. This power is often used to devastating effect, laying waste to the fields and homes of those who earn their ire. Illusions. Illusions are another tool in their arsenal, creating visions that confuse and entrap the unwary. These phantasmal images can lead a person astray or conceal the Oni's true nature, making them as elusive as they are dangerous. Regeneration and Summoning The resilience of the Oni is legendary, with wounds healing in moments, making them nearly invincible foes. Furthermore, their ability to summon other creatures, whether spirits, lesser demons and Oni, or animals, to do their bidding adds to their formidable nature, allowing them to command forces that overwhelm even the bravest of warriors. The Oni emerge not just as creatures of myth, but as symbols of the natural and supernatural forces that shape our world. However, they were not invincible. The Oni possessed a multitude of weaknesses, iron and steel. In many stories, Oni are depicted as being vulnerable to weapons made of iron or steel. This is a common theme in folklore around the world, where supernatural beings are often susceptible to certain materials. For Oni, samurai swords, which are made of steel, and other iron implements can cause them harm or even defeat them. Beans. Perhaps one of the most famous weaknesses of Oni is their aversion to beans, particularly soybeans. During the Setsubun festival, which marks the beginning of spring in Japan, it is a tradition to throw roasted soybeans outside one's home or at a person wearing an Oni mask while shouting, Oni wa soto fuku wa uchi which roughly translates to devil's out. Fortune in. This practice is believed to drive away evil spirits and bring good luck. 
The reason behind this weakness is not entirely clear, but it is deeply rooted in Japanese culture. One speculation is that the word bean in Japanese, which is mame, is also a homophone for destroying evil. Religious or sacred objects. Oni are often repelled by objects of religious or spiritual significance. This can include Buddhist prayer beads, Shinto talismans, or holy sutras. These items are thought to embody purity and righteousness, which can banish or weaken Oni and other malevolent spirits. Names and True Names In some tales, knowing the true name of an Oni gives one power over it. This concept is common in myths and folklore around the world, where knowing a creature's true name grants the knower control or significant advantage over the creature. By invoking the true name, one can command or banish the Oni. Alcohol While not universally seen as a weakness, there are stories where Oni's fondness for sake turned against them. In the legend of Shuten Doji, the titular Oni and his band are given drugged sake by warriors, which makes them drunk and vulnerable to attack. This suggests that indulgence and lack of self-control can be exploited as weaknesses. Sunlight In certain legends, Oni, much like other creatures of darkness, are weakened or avoid sunlight. This ties into the broader theme of light overcoming darkness, with the light of the sun representing purity, and the Oni's malevolent nature being akin to shadows that flee before it. Moral Righteousness and Virtuous Behavior Oni are sometimes depicted as being repelled or defeated by acts of moral courage, righteousness, and virtuous behavior. This is a common motif in folklore, where the purity of heart and noble intentions can protect individuals from harm and even turn evil to good. Oni exhibit a spectrum of behaviors that range from the malevolently destructive to the unexpectedly protective, painting a complex picture of these mythical beings. These Oni also embody a depth of character that mirrors the complexity of human emotions and motivations. Acting from a spectrum of desires and fears, they represent the gray areas of morality, where actions are driven by a mix of good intentions, personal grievances, and the pursuit of their own goals. Malevolent At one end of the spectrum, we encounter the malevolent Oni, creatures of pure malice whose stories are etched in legends for their deeds of destruction and terror. The creatures showcase their capacity of unleashing chaos upon humans and the world. Such beings are often the embodiment of the challenges heroes face, representing the obstacles to be overcome through courage and strength. Mischievous Contrasting sharply with their malevolent counterparts, some Oni revel in mischief and trickery rather than outright destruction. Dwelling in the forested mountains, they play pranks on arrogant monks and samurai, using their supernatural abilities to humble those who boast of their strength and piety. Yet their actions often carry deeper lessons about humility and respect for the natural world, illustrating the complex moral dimensions of these creatures. Guardians among the many roles that Oni played, a few were venerated as protectors. In certain shrines and temples, fierce Oni statues stood guard, their intimidating forms believed to ward off evil spirits and protect the sacred precincts from malevolent forces, turning their formidable strength towards the preservation of peace and safety. This guardian aspect highlights a protective quality, suggesting that power, even when fearsome, can be a force for good. Seasonal. The Oni also play pivotal roles in cultural rituals and celebrations, embodying the cycle of renewal and the expulsion of misfortune. The Setsubun Festival, as mentioned before, is a celebration marking the change of seasons, features Oni in a unique role tied to rituals and festivities. During Setsubun, people throw roasted soybeans out of their homes, shouting, Oni wa soto fuku wa uchi, roughly translated to Devil's out, fortune in. This practice reflects the belief in Oni as bearers of misfortune and hardship, which can be driven away with the right rituals to welcome a prosperous and happy new year. Other. There are many other lesser known behaviors attributed to the Oni that don't fit into the categories mentioned. Some stories talk about the Oni going through transformation and redemption. These stories suggest that even beings of darkness have the potential for change, 
influenced by teachings of compassion or acts of kindness. Such narratives underscore the belief in the possibility of redemption, offering a path from darkness to light. The stories of Oni in Japanese folklore reveal their vast and varied nature. From fearsome adversaries to beings of deep emotion, these tales traverse the breadth of human experience, reflecting our deepest fears and highest hopes. Let us briefly go through some of the most well-known stories involving the Oni. These stories may be retold in greater detail in later episodes. Momotaro In an ancient, tranquil world, an extraordinary boy named Momotaro stood center stage. He emerged from a giant peach and was discovered by an elderly couple longing for a child. Momotaro, whose name means peach boy, grows into a brave and kind-hearted young man, determined to challenge the malevolent band of Oni that terrorized their realm. Armed with millet dumplings gifted by his adoptive parents, he embarks on a journey, gathering loyal companions. A dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, each won over by his generosity and courage. Together, they venture to the Oni's island called Onigashima, confronting and defeating the demons in a grand battle of bravery, friendship, and the triumph of good over evil. Momotaro's story, celebrated in countless retellings, remains a beacon of hope and valor, inspiring all to stand against darkness. Shutendoji. Shutendoji, the demon king of Mount Oi, epitomizes the terror that Oni can embody. He was one of the legendary Oni in Japanese mythology and is mentioned as one of the three great evil yokai of Japan, along with Otakamaru and Tamamo no Mai. Leading a band of demons, he kidnaps maidens from Kyoto, indulging in unspeakable horrors. Enter Minamoto no Yorimitsu, known as Raiko, and his four valiant lieutenants. Disguised as mountain ascetics, they infiltrate Shutendoji's lair, armed with enchanted sake. In a cunning blend of bravery and strategy, they intoxicate the demon, enabling his defeat. Otakemaru Otakemaru is another one of the legendary oni in Japanese mythology, though his story is not as widely recognized as some others. He is mentioned as one of the three great evil yokai of Japan, along with Shutendoji and Tamamo no Mai. Otakemaru's narrative might vary across different sources, but he is typically portrayed as a powerful oni who was the enemy to the shogun, Takanoe no Tamuramaro. Otakemaru terrorized the people and travelers in the Suzuka Mountains. He challenged heroes and even confronted the gods themselves. Otakemaru used his black magic to summon a great storm and covered the mountains in rain, lightning, and black clouds, making it impossible to see. For seven long years, Tamuramaru and his men roamed the mountains in search of Otakemaru, but could not catch him. During this time, Otakamaru also tried to court a beautiful goddess named Suzuka Gozen, but his advances were denied each time. Ultimately, Tamuramaru and Otakamaru clashed, the Shogun's army against the Oni's horde. This battle ended with Otakamaru's death by the blade of Tamuramaru. To add insult to injury, Tamuramaru marries the goddess Suzuka Gozen at the end of the story. These stories each paint the Oni in shades of gray, they were monsters, yes, but also beings of emotion and complexity. Through the bravery of Momotaro, the cunning defeat of Shutendoji, and the Battle of Otakemaru, the tales of the Oni continue to fascinate us, offering a window into the human condition. From the frost-kissed mountains of Hokkaido to the sun-soaked shores of Okinawa, the Oni of Japanese folklore adapted and transformed depending on the diverse landscapes and cultures of Japan. Each region tells its own stories, painting Oni in every shade of fear and wonder, from terrifying beasts to benevolent protectors. In the cold north of Hokkaido, tales of Oni evoke the harshness of the winter and the resilience required to survive it. Here, some Oni were seen as spirits of the snow and ice, formidable yet integral to the natural world, reminding people of the strength found in unity and warmth in the face of biting cold. Moving to the main island of Honshu, the heartland of Japan, the Oni take on a more varied persona. In the bustling cities and serene countryside, tales of Oni intertwine with Japan's historical and cultural milestones. From the samurai battling demonic forces 
to the protective Oni guarding sacred temples, Honshu's legends reflect the complexities of human life, where morality is often a spectrum rather than a clear divide. On the island of Shikoku, with its famous pilgrimage of 88 temples, Oni are woven into the fabric of spiritual journey and transformation. Here Oni are not just obstacles to be overcome, they are also teachers, challenging pilgrims to look within and confront their own inner demons on the path to enlightenment. Kyushu, with its active volcanoes and vibrant hot springs, portrays Oni with a fiery temperament, mirroring the dynamic and powerful forces of nature. These Oni are as unpredictable as the Earth itself, capable of both creation and destruction, reminding us of the fine balance that governs the natural world. In the tropical paradise of Okinawa, Oni blend with the local folklore, adopting characteristics unique to the island's history and beliefs. Here, they might be seen as guardians of the natural world, embodying the spirit of both land and sea, and teaching the importance of living in harmony with nature. Across the vast expanse of Japan, Oni serve as a mirror reflecting humanity's deepest fears, desires, and values. They remind us of the balance between chaos and order, darkness and light, teaching lessons that resonate beyond the boundaries of folklore into the heart of human experience. Through the stories of Oni, we are invited on a journey of self-discovery, challenged to confront our own demons and embrace the light. In the clash between humanity and the supernatural, Oni stand as symbols of good, evil, and everything in between. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. What did you think? Did I miss any details? Let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome to the channel. I hope I earned a like and subscription in your eyes. If not, that's okay. I'll keep making videos until I do earn it. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly appreciate all the views, likes, subscriptions, and kind words and messages. Without you, this channel wouldn't be here today. That's it for now. I hope to see you all in the next one.